Hey, how are you doing seventh grade? Today we're going to be getting into the more controversial topic of evolution, uh, of evolution. And the websites that you see are going to talk about some religious beliefs and they're also gonna talk about scientific beliefs. In this case, it's most important to remember that we are investigating a theory. And a theory is an idea that has a lot of evidence to back it up. So today we're going to be talking about some of the evidence that backs up the theory of biological evolution. So I went to my search engine and I typed in the title of our slide and I got a lot of different websites. I felt like the best one actually came from Khan Academy. It was very simple to understand and very easy to read. So evidence for evolution comes from many different areas of biology. Anatomy. Species can share similar features. Molecular biology, DNA is has shared commonalities. Biogeography, the way different animals are spread out across the globe, some of them have similarities even though they're far apart. Uh, fossils, we talked a little bit about that in the last slide. And then direct observation, we're able to see as scientists some of these evolutionary changes. So this is Perfect, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, move my picture over to the side a little bit here. And I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna paste it in here. And I'm gonna make sure that I am, I'm gonna format this a little bit differently. I'm going to click on the blue box and I'm gonna change my font a little so it's a little smaller. I'm going to uh, shrink my box down a little bit so that I have some room for a picture. Oh, too much, it's off my slide. Okay, and I'm going to um, add my citation up at the top. So I'm gonna say um, information Collected from, and then I'm going to cite my evidence. This is the third website that I've used, so I want to make sure that I put a number three here. And I'm going to go to my works cited slide, and I'm going to make sure that I have this on my works cited slide. So if somebody wanted to get this information, they could click on that link and they would be able to find the same information I used. Okay, now I need to find a picture. So I'm gonna close these tabs and I found this picture. It talks about the fossils, it talks about anatomy, it talks about embryo development, which is one of the, the things we've observed from different animals is that we all look the same. Humans look the same as chickens, look the same as pigs, look the same as horses when they're inside of their mother's womb. So it's very interesting. I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna paste it in here. And I'm gonna minimize this so that I can fit it in. And you know what? I might have to take this and spread this out a little bit. So I'll work on the formatting for this, but what I wanna make sure that you get out of this is that I have the evidence, I've cited my sources, I've added a picture, and the last thing that you need to do is make sure that you have your text box citing your picture. So let me do that really fast. I'm gonna do retrieved from, and then I will find out where this picture came from. I'm gonna copy and paste that web address right on the slide. Let me make my picture a little bit smaller. And my text box a little bit bigger. And this text box a little bit smaller. And I'm set. All right, guys, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please let me know.